Thank you. We are, time is running short. I'm going to take one more qu question. Admittedly, there's a bunch that I have not been able to present, and I apologize for that. But uh, this is the last question. Um, would you support the, uh, the addition of a, a school resource officer to the high school in Palos Verdes Estates, which is apparently available and provided in Manhattan Beach in El Segundo? Okay, uh, I believe we begin with, with Jennifer. I'm sorry, um, with, no, yes, correct. Yes, <laughs> um, yes I, I think a school resource officer is a, is a tremendous idea and um, could be also a great collaboration between the district and our city. Of course, uh, it's all gonna come back to resources. You know, who's gonna pay for that officer and then once an officer is at PV High, then would Penn High also want and deserve an officer? So again, what I've, what I've learned on the city council is that every decision has unintended consequences and you wanna try and <clears throat> anticipate those and address those as much as you can when you're making a decision. And so I, you know, my preliminary answer is yes, that's a fabulous idea, but I would wanna go through all the um, potential unintended consequences before I would, without qualification, support that. But um, Yes. Mr. McGowan? Well, I concur with Jennifer that it's a great idea, but I also would want to step back a little bit and look at how we would provide that service and how it would be funded. And I don't have the uh, information that I've been presented or have any knowledge on what that might entail. I think it's a great idea, but again, it's a competing resources, uh, and do we uh, do that versus something else? Thank you. Mr. McCarthy? Uh, I, I think we're all going to agree that's a great idea. The, the issue is funding, you know, but I think we should look at maybe uh, somebody part-time, maybe not a full-time mm -hmm. officer or somebody who is retired and looking to do something that can spend some time on the campus, maybe not eight hours, but four or five hours a day. Uh, I think it's, it's valuable for the, for the uh, children to see, uh, the kids to see that there's a cop and they feel comfortable go up and talking to them. Uh, I think we get a lot of mileage out of that as, as a community. Ms. Peterson. Definitely would support something like this, although I, I think that we need to really define the scope of work of what this resource officer would do, and also if there's a way to incorporate that resource officer into our current staff, so maybe there's not a whole lot of um, additional costs involved. Thank you. Ms. Losey. I would say yes, of course. It, on the surface, it sounds like you know it's a great idea to be supported if we can. Um, the thoughts that come to mind, we have a great volunteer um, police officer group, and I wonder if that's something that could be incorporated there. And then to me, this just it sounds like, the first note I made to myself is it sounds like it's something that perhaps should be a, a collaboration among all four cities on the Hill um, and maybe find a way for everybody to kind of share, share the burden or the financial burden of that. Thank you, Mr. Kemps. Yeah, realistically, we have students at, at, at our high school that come from all over the all over the hill, not just our city. Um, so I, I love the collaborative idea. Uh, I love y utilizing our uh, our reserve officers. Uh, I'm very hesitant to use existing payroll considering our pension challenges, but there's nothing more important than our kids. So I'd absolutely be uh, be open to hearing uh, more about it and would review it. Sure. Thank you.